There are tons of voiceover websites where you can find voiceover jobs opportunities for beginners, voiceover work for pros, and everything in between. Everybody, it seems, is trying to make money online, and jobs websites have become a popular way to find voiceover jobs opportunities. So today, I'm going to give you five red flags to look for on the voiceover jobs websites. And stick around, because at the end, I'm going to give you a bonus sixth red flag to look for, which just might be the biggest threat to your voiceover business. Red flag number one, avoid the freelancer sites at all costs. The general freelancer sites like Fiverr, like Upwork, like People Per Hour. For pros and anybody that wants to be a pro voice actor one day are, quite frankly, trash. They're not designed for professional voice actors. They don't have the best interest of the voice actor at heart. And more importantly, you can actually damage your career by being on them. Well, surely you're making that up, Paul. No, I'm not. Click the link to the GVAA article, Why I Don't Worry About Fiverr Anymore, in the description below. These sites are full of lowball clients trading on price and price alone. They're just looking for the cheapest possible way to get the job done. They don't value quality and they demand the most hand-holding and maintenance and time and effort. They will ask for everything and they pay almost nothing. Are there occasional jobs that pay pro rates on these sites? Sure, every rule has an exception. But again, if you intend to be a pro and build a solid base of clients who value your work and your worth, you're just not going to find a lot of them on these kinds of sites. Now, if you're an amateur, a hobbyist, if you're just looking to do VO for fun or for a few extra bucks, then the general freelancer sites can be a great way to scratch that itch, and I support you. But if you're a pro, or you ever intend to go pro one day, treat them like nuclear waste. Red flag number two, flat rate pricing for all genres. Now here's a site that's a great example of this, Voice Jungle. Now, even before we scroll, we see the phrase fast, affordable, and guaranteed, only 30 cents a word. And if we click on the minimums apply link, we see another huge red flag. Pay once, use forever. Forever. Now, why is that a problem? Seems like a great way to simplify rates for the buyer, take the friction out of the buying process, and the complexity out of buying voiceover overall. But there are certain genres of voiceover work that you, as a professional, should never license forever. Forever, also known as in perpetuity or in perp. Forever. 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 For example, any broadcast or digital broadcast commercial work should always have a finite term. 13 weeks, 26 weeks, a year, two years, etc. Why? Because if you're the public voice of Joe's Cola, then Coca-Cola is never going to hire you because you're already the public voice of Joe's. Even if Joe's doesn't require you to be exclusive to them, you will have locked yourself out of Coke, Pepsi, and any other soft drink maker, anybody else in that category, for the rest of time, potentially costing you tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of your career. It's called soft exclusivity, and it's a real thing, baby. Now, some other genres like e-learning, it's very valid to price your voiceover services per word, but most genres are not best priced per word. Do you really want to get paid 11 bucks for a 15 second commercial, even if it weren't in perpetuity? Okay, but in fairness, Voice Jungle's minimums are $45 for up to 40 words and $65 for over 40 words. Still, if you're working for that kind of chump change, you're not a professional. You're just someone with a mic and a mouth. Red flag number three, rush delivery available. And why is that a problem, you ask? Well, on the surface, it's not. In fact, it's a huge customer service asset and can not only help you provide excellent service to your customers, again, your customers, not the platforms, but it can also help you make more money doing it. But here's the rub. Every promise made by the website is one you're going to have to keep. And in Voice Jungle's case, you're not even getting paid extra for the two-hour turnaround. That's part of the rate whether the client needs a rush or not. And by the way, 
Every other voice actor on the platform has to fulfill the same promise. So your competitive advantage is exactly zero. You're all just sheep waiting for the pen to open so you can graze on the same shitty grass. When you rely on the platform to make the promises to the end client, you don't get the credit for fulfilling them. The platform does. But if you don't meet the requirements that the platform sets out for the client, you bet your sweet patootie you're going to get the blame. When you choose your own clients and build your own relationships, rather than relying on a third-party platform, you get to choose the promises you make to your clients. You get to choose how you fulfill them. You get to choose how to set expectations and how to exceed them so that you can consistently build client loyalty and consistent, reliable work. Red flag number four, price-based language. Here's another copy block from Voice Jungle. It's no secret that production budgets have shrunk, so you, the client, have to make smart decisions with your marketing dollars. To do that, you need a fast, affordable way to get a great voiceover. The problem is, many voiceover sites can be complicated, time-consuming, and expensive. We get it. We believe you shouldn't have to pay a ton of money for a great voiceover. We understand the frustration that comes with overpaying for a voiceover you're not thrilled with, which is why we created Voice Jungle to keep your work professional and profitable. Clearly, their strategy is a low-ball price play. They're actively targeting clients who trade on price and price alone, and they don't give a flying fuck about appropriate rates for the voice actor. Why, in God's name, would you participate in this? Here's their strategy in a nutshell. Let's target low-ball clients with tiny budgets and then take a cut out of that so that the voice actor makes even less. Whenever you see price-based language like this, whether it's Fiverr or Upwork or Voice Jungle or Voices or whatever, run. run! There will always be a dollar store or a penny store. If you intend to support yourself and run a successful business, you can't do it on crumbs and scraps and trash. Know your worth. Charge appropriate rates and avoid platforms that trade on low prices. Red flag number five, managed services. Many sites like Voices and Bunny Studio, for example, offer managed services. You'll see phrases like, we'll manage your entire project from start to finish. Save hours on freelancer coordination and 24-7 support available. In reality, they're just inserting themselves between you and the client and charging extra for being the middle person. It's complete crap. They all promise their clients that their talent are all experienced pros. So why not get out of the way and let the experienced pros handle the communication and the project? The answer is because now there will be nothing left for them to insert themselves in the middle of and charge extra for. Adding that extra layer between you and the client only muddles and slows down the communication process. And if and when something does go sideways, do you think they're going to take accountability or do you think that they're going to lay the voice actor under the bus? When you own your own relationships and manage your accounts directly, that's part of your rate and part of the service that you provide. You should get paid for that, not the platform. And red flag number six, you're relying too much on the voiceover jobs websites for the bulk of your work. At best, using a voiceover specific website to find work should only be one part of your marketing and business development plan. If you're getting the bulk of your work from the pay to plays, then you likely don't own the bulk of your own relationships. Your long-term survival and sustainability as a profitable business relies directly on your ability to develop relationships directly, to start, own, manage, and grow those relationships. In fact, that is your business. The fact that you provide voiceover services is secondary. Are you stuck on the pay to plays? Are you relying on them? Are you not booking consistently? Let me know in the comments, or even let me know in the comments if you disagree. Hey, we can do that here and still be civil. Wow, 
What a concept. So for more information on growing your VO business, click on the link for the VO Freedom Master Plan. I'll put that in the description below. And we'd love to have you sign up for the Move, Touch, Inspire newsletter for voice actors. It comes out every Thursday. It's a thought to move you, an idea to touch you, and a quote to inspire you. I hope you'll sign up. Thank you so much for your support. If you learned something from this video, if it inspired you, if you think it will inspire another voice actor or help another voice actor, give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks again. We'll see you back here soon and have a fantastic week.